<laughs> this game is called Neuro Racer and is played with joysticks like many computer games popular with teenagers. A player has to guide a car on a winding uphill road, control its speed and push a button when certain signs appear. Players are scored on how quickly and accurately they react to the signs while guiding their car. So the game requires multitasking. Anne Lindsley is a participant in the study. You know, I used to pride myself in the ability to multitask with lots of different people and lots of activities going on, and then it was harder and harder to keep track of what I was doing. I'd forget what day it is, where I was going, why I was doing this. <laughs> this part of the brain is generating those signals. So Adam is Gasly is, is a neuroscientist at the University of California in San Francisco and the head of the team that conducted a study on 16 volunteers aged 65 and above. He says the human brain is able to develop throughout a person's life. Our ability of our brain to reshape and reform itself in response to the environment doesn't end after some stage in development, but it continues through our whole life. And if you have a very targeted training approach like we did in this study, you can have these really big impacts. So if a child or a teenager can learn a new computer game, so can a 70 or 80 year old person. As a participant moves to harder levels of the game, he or she wears a special skull cap that records brain activity. Researcher Joaquin Anguera says the study showed that the game helped elderly people improve their multitasking abilities and more. The folks in our multitask training group who played an adaptive version of NeuroRacer improved on their sustained attention abilities, their work in memory abilities, their multitasking on the NeuroRacer game, and these correlated with improvements in their neural activity at the scalp, specifically a signal associated with sustained attention. Researchers say a more comprehensive study is needed to determine what kind of tasks are most useful to help improve an elderly brain. Zlatica Hoke, VOA News, Washington. One more point, we got it.